That's a future prophecy. Yes, Give right Malachi one. Produce me a Malachi one. The Edomites are uh, exterminated. Malachi one. How would that even be a thing? Well. All right. So look what Invocab says. This is a post that he had made, or not a post, or it's a message he had left on a uh, Facebook, and I had saved it. It says, uh, I do not care to invest in responding to this dude on a trolling spree. It says, but let me clarify one thing. It is true, Edomites as a distinct people group, that's the new word that, that these Christians are using now when it comes to Esau, as a distinct people group are no longer around. However, it is also true much of their line was assimilated into the Arabs who took over the area. It is also, pos it is also probably true some, uh, some of the line was assimilated into some of the Judeans who conquered the area prior to the New Testament era. Either way, it's a, it's, a, it's a distinct Semitic people group becoming enveloped by two other distinct Semitic people groups. Europeans had literally nothing to do with it. <laughs> so once again, he's trying to get the Europeans out, get them away from the title of Edom, all right? And he just said, <laughs> he just said that the Edomites turned into the Arabs. They, their line was assimilated into the Arabs and into the Judeans. So basically the Edomites are still here they're just not calling themselves Edom anymore. They're just the Arabs and the Judeans. I mean, this is the this is the new this is the new doctrine of the confused council of Christians, man. Stuff that he got, David Wood is hilarious. <laughs> I hung out with him at ETS, and he. Oh, believe me, I know David. He, you know how rock stars act when they're like not being, they're not on stage. David Wood is like the rock star of Christian apologists. Like behind the scenes, he's just a wild man, but he's so fun to hang out. Muslim sources contain more than thirty references to Muhammad wearing women's clothing. I'll include several examples in the link I mentioned. The narration we looked at in Bukhari uses the word thalp, which is like our word garment, in that it can refer to a man's garment or a woman's garment. 13, 9, and 10, then. Uh -huh. <laughs> if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, that verse would help them better for what they're trying to prove there. But a few things about it. Bible doesn't use reincarnation, of course, first of all. Second of all, if you read the context of the passage, what it's saying, and the ESV gets this better, uh, what it's saying is whoever during this time of tribulation that is a saint, that will be s sort of God is marking them out that they will be part of those who are persecuted, it will happen. But God is saying, that's why the, in, that's why the verse ends with the comfort. Here's a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Like, you will be able to handle what's going to happen. Lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs>
Mark, we're talking about. You're talking about First Corinthians 8. But I know what that. did you. No, 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 no. What First Corinthians 8 also answered the question. What, what we just read in End Time Prophecy. What do you eat to the glory of God? Well, you just cut yourself, man. See, this is. That's, what's that called? Matthew. You got, you cut yourself. Oh, up. Man, have you ever seen those videos where a guy's chugging along? You can't and he's just eat anything. The race and he's like this, and then the dude passes. So that's the difference between this us. This is you. That's a law. Declaring victory doesn't mean you gave a biblical answer. No, we're just you guys are feel with that's a cup. This is a cup. You're wrong. Wrong. The, the word of God is you. I repeated the scripture. Okay, go ahead. I repeated the scripture. Did not. Every time. Can you answer the question? I'm not going the scripture. Whatever you eat, eat to the glory of God. Okay. Is that in the Bible? You yes even or an no? electric eel? Does the Bible say that? Yes, it does. Yeah, even an electric eel. Okay. You, okay. Want, you want to eat an electric eel after it's killed and no longer electric? Go ahead. All right. No. Now you brothers heard that. Now that's that's complete wickedness, man. That's complete wickedness. All right. Now before that he said that uh that you can eat pork. Before that he said you can eat pork, and then the brother and then uh like I said the elder Yashawamba asked him can you eat an electric eel and he said yes. Now that's now that's com now he's supposed to be this great uh <laughs> this great teacher of the Bible. But let's see what the Bible says, man. Okay? This is Leviticus, all right, chapter 11 and verse 9. It says, These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Okay? Now, electric eels, they swim in what? Water. Okay? It says, Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Okay? And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses and abominations. This is the key point right here. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters that uh, that shall be an abomination unto you okay so vocab malone you're teaching people that they can eat abominations man you just sat up there and said that you can eat an electric eel man after it's killed see you've been found to be a liar and a devil okay and every time you come up to these camps man especially a great millstone camp you, you embarrass yourself. You further prove that you don't know the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? That's what you further prove every time you come to these camps, man. Okay? You're teaching people that they can just be lawless beasts. All right? This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. It says, think not that I am come to destroy the law or to or the prophets. I am come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And this is the key point right here. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, vocab Malone, teaching people that they can eat uh, electric eels and eat swine's flesh which the brother brought out uh, in Isaiah 66 and I believe the 16th and the 17th chapter that in the latter days those that eat swine's flesh is going to be consumed by the Lord so your doctrine is completely retarded and it's off and you have no business teaching the Bible man Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, and that's what we do, man. Now, we're not sitting up here, and like the elder Yashawamba say, we don't keep the entire law because we can't in this flesh, in this society, in these bodies. But we try to the best of our abilities, and we also teach brothers that, look, man, you have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. So we're doing them to the best of our ability, and we're teaching men so. The same shall be called the, 
the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we're striving for, man. Okay? So it's clearly in the dietary law that you're not supposed to eat that. And yes, we understand the laws were only given to Israelites. But we're, uh, I'm saying this to vocab alone because you're supposed to be this great Bible teacher, this great apologist. But you're completely uh, uh, twisting the laws of the Most High, man. And that's why the Most High is going to deal with you. And you're teaching people that they can just do whatever they want to do. Okay? And you're off, man. I'm going to see if I can get that again. And then, uh, matter of fact, I'll let it play. Because these brothers were cutting you to the spirit, man. And that just further proves that we have the truth. Let's play it one more time, then we'll get out of here. So that's the difference this between is us. You. That's the law. Cut. Declaring victory doesn't mean you gave a biblical answer. No, we're just you guys are filled with that's a cut. This you is a cut. You're wrong. Answer the question. The word of God, God is the two words. Repeat it in scripture. Okay, go ahead. I repeat it in scripture. Go ahead. Can, you, can you answer the question? I'm not going to Whatever you eat, eat to the glory of God. Okay. Is that in the Bible? Even an electric eel? Does the Bible say that? Yes, it does. Yes, you need an electric eel. If you want to eat an electric eel after it's killed and no longer electric, go ahead. This is John trying. This is John trying jellyfish. Oh my God! Oh. It just tastes like fish, man. Can I try it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you have a oh. Oh, baby fish? Oh, baby fish! Oh my God, that's awful. That's probably what you're doing that. Oh wow, here they're all looking at me. Yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Well, he is what he eats, bro. He is what he eats. Got this? Got this? Adam's about to have some. It's my first uh, taste of jellyfish. Thank you. you. You work here? Yeah. Are you want it? Yeah. So come on. Angela Marion gives you a word? No way. That's oh, really terrible. Come on. She used to work with Bruce Lee. That's that's uh, the, I'm sorry, I'm Angela Marion's husband. Hey! All right, all right. All right. I want you to ask her a question for me. I'll come back for an answer. Who is better, Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris? Yeah, who's better? <laughs> <laughs> That's shit, man. How did you record that, man? Am I the only one? I did. Oh, but I, I was... Nobody else was trying to... The, uh, it's okay, man. Uh, you know, Is I'll, it good? I'll give the eulogy. Well, just uh, call him an Edomite, a cracker. Oh, he's black. Call, oh, call him a coon. Call, call him a coon. Works every time. Call him a coon. Yes. Private eye for Yahweh's service. Shalom, Holmes.